Welcome to Dublin. This is Ireland's capital city known for its lively music, renowned pubs, history and literary scene. Let's go check it out. Cool little street scene, they're having a farmer's market. First we walk down Henry Street, a famous shopping street in Dublin. We are in Dublin! Dublin is a walkable city, so today we're going to walk around and see what picturesque things we can find. This right here is a restaurant that's built out of a church. Our first stop is the 18th century St. Mary's Church of Ireland, which has now been converted to a bar called The Church. This is a church that turned into a bar. This is Arthur Guinness, the founder of the Guinness Brewery. He was married here. The River Liffey flows through the center of Dublin, dividing the city from the north side to the south side. This is called the Essex Bridge, and that's the canal. Now we head to an area known as the Temple Bar. This is a part of the city with cobblestone streets, numerous picturesque bars, and art galleries. So I'm here in Dublin. It's February. It's pretty chilly outside. It's about 10 degrees Celsius, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit got me this new jacket from the kids section at Zara. First impressions so far, it looks a lot like Boston. There's tons of cool pubs. It's a little chilly, but we're making it work. the city hall and um, it was opened in 1852 and that's the Irish language. This is the inside of the city hall. Look at this dome. This is Sir McConnell. So in the city hall they have a little exhibit. It's free and they tell you about the city's architecture, the Georgian style. And they have a thing here, this is the Irish Republic um, Declaration of Independence from 1916. Okay, so this is what the city looked like the day that independence was granted. We're heading to Trinity College right now. College. Trinity College was founded in 1592 and is home to the Book of Kells, a glorious exhibit and a must-see old library. Here we're walking through the long room, nearly 65 meters in length, filled with 200,000 of the library's oldest books and one of the most impressive libraries in the world. This is the long haul Book of Kells. The Book of Kells is regarded as Ireland's national treasure in sacred manuscript with four gospels of the New Testament. It was made by Celtic monks in 800 AD. Here we take the hop on hop off bus, one of the easiest ways to get around the city besides walking. That's St. Patrick's Cathedral. Second tallest obelisk in the world, the tallest being in Washington. This monument is dedicated to the memory of the Duke of Wellington. Now time for some Ireland fun facts. Number one, Ireland is one of the only places where Romans never conquered. Number two, there was never an industrial revolution in Ireland. Number three, Ireland has one of the youngest populations in Europe. 
Number four, the legal drinking age is 18. And number five, there are over 700 pubs in the city. And the Dublin city proper is quite small with a little over 500,000 people. Now for Dublin, day two. All right, guys, I'm staying at the Maldron Hotel. This is in Dublin. It's right in the city center. Um, this is my room. I have like two beds. It's nice if you're sharing this with a family. I can't say I recommend it though. That noise is coming from the construction out here. So it's a little loud, but in terms of location, it's good. Um, pretty clean and um, very nice breakfast though. All right, on that note, I'm getting out of here. Let's go see the city. Cool. On day two, I take the hop on hop off bus where I check out some of the city's highlights and art galleries, followed by pubs at night. Just grabbed a seat on the hop on hop off. I'm the only one on board. So I'm walking around the city. Check out this church. So walking around the city, serious Boston vibes. Looks like Charles River. The city has a biking program. Pay right there. So cool. Now time to head into the Dublin City Art Gallery where we find a free concert. Now, when you go to Dublin or Belfast, be prepared to walk unless you want to ride one of those guys. Now, you can't come to Dublin without checking out the pubs, so let's go. Uh, cheers. This is the stew, the half roasted chicken. Five lamps beer. This is the Guinness stew.
guys. It's been a long day of touring Dublin and Belfast, but I hope you enjoyed it. Like I always say, any country that has good food, good beer, and good people, I'm there. Oh, one more thing. So this Maldron Hotel, it's 66 euros per night. You can fit one, two, there's, this is like a double bed, three people in this room and it comes with free breakfast, which is like an awesome breakfast. So 66 euros, about 80 bucks US per night. But I hope that you enjoyed this video of Belfast in Dublin. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos. Until next time. Subscribe and stay tuned because coming up next, Dublin's top attraction, the Guinness Storehouse.